Hi again, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday sit-in. In this uh, Zoomcast, we promote uh, and bring up and uh, do everything we can to let you know about uh, USA Hockey's National Team Development Program. I'm the broadcaster, Pete Krupski. I'm joined uh, by our team leader, John Edwards. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of success last week uh, bringing in a couple of members of the brand new 2004 date of birth uh, group. And so we're going to do it again with this uh, particular broadcast. We'd like to introduce you to Seamus Casey, young man from Florida, and Rutger McGrorty, uh, who's currently living in Northville. And uh, guys, thanks for doing this. We really appreciate it. We'll get to you momentarily. We want to get a couple of mentions in. Um, slowly but surely, things are happening at USA Hockey Arena. As USA Hockey would like to tell you, hockey is back, and it is coming back slowly but surely. A couple of things happening at USA Hockey Arena. The restaurant is uh, going at CJ's Brewing Company. Give them a call at 734-453-4455. They have daily specials going on all the time at CJ's Brewing Company. Also, the summer drive-in at USA Hockey Arena is going seven days a week, weather permitting, and the weather's been excellent of late. Uh, the current uh, movie showing at the drive-in, screen one, Trolls World Tour, which is rated PG. On screen two, Jumanji, the next level, rated PG-13. I believe that has Dwayne The Rock Johnson in it. And on screen three, Bad Boys for Life, rated R. You can go to summer drive-in, uh, www.summerdriving uh, at usahockeyarena.com to find out more or give them a call at the hotline 974-927-3284 for everything happening at USA Hockey Arena and the summer driving at USA Hockey Arena. Let's get to hockey. I'd like to bring in R Rutger McGrorty. Grew up in Lincoln, Nebraska, now living in uh, Northville. Seamus Casey is in Florida. Seamus, I'll start with you. Uh, give us the report uh, on the, the COVID-19 situation. Uh, how are you dealing with it? And uh, is, the, is the, the state opening up? How's that going in Florida? Uh, well, that's a good question. Um, everything's pretty much opening up slowly. Um, like my, my rink's open. So um, I were able to escape, but like they, when we go in, like they take our temperatures, you know, you have to stay distanced. Um, it's, it's slowly opening up more like with how many skaters we can have, but, and then obviously with things opening up, cases are going up, so now it's like, you know, a little bit of panic and, and obviously like, I think masks are now mandatory and like the keys, um, like for, until like the next year, but everything else is, it's opening up more and more, but I think, um, there's definitely a little bit of like panic. Some people are, uh, cases are rising, so. Perfect. And Rutger, what about you? Uh, how are things going in Northville? I know things in Michigan are opening up slowly but surely. Uh, yeah, in Northville, it's uh, it's kind of opening up. Like we uh, went to the first restaurant. Uh, we sat there. Uh, workouts are starting to happen. Uh, a little bit of uh, ice. I know there's uh, ice that opened up in Ohio. A few rinks are uh, opened up. So I think slowly but surely it's uh, it's coming back to normal. John Edwards, uh, what do you got for a guess? Guys, I think one of the things we, we've all noticed during, uh, during the shutdown here is how important some of our time with the family is, you know, getting to, to spend a, a little more time with, with everyone. You guys are playing a lot. We don't always uh, get to do that. And today's a, a, a bit of a special day, Father's Day coming out there. So we're, uh, we're hoping to lighten it up. You got any uh, fun stories, uh, maybe with your dad from when you were a little younger at the rink or, or anything in general, Rucker? Uh, yeah, my dad, uh, he was a big part of my hockey career. Just him uh, being with the Lincoln Stars, he had the keys to the rink. So every single day I could go into the rink and skate. So I had an advantage that uh, nine to 10 year olds didn't have. And he, he was, I, like, I wouldn't be where I'm at today with my hockey game if it wasn't for him. Like he, he supported me. He was there uh, the whole way. I, I lived with him for six years while my mom and sister lived back in uh, Nebraska. So, yeah, without him, I, I have no clue where I'd be at today. Seamus, how did uh, your dad help you along in, in the hockey career? Um, I mean, pretty much in every single way, my parents and my dad have always been there. Um, one thing, I guess, is like well, a couple years, years ago, before I came to Michigan to play, uh, they, my dad opened a hockey academy. 
um, really like just for me, obviously like to get better and, and to help me in every way he can um, and to help other kids too. But yeah, he opened a hockey academy in our rink um, and it was a lot, it was a lot, a lot of work for, for my parents. And, um, but my dad did that for me. So that, that's obviously really special. Brings out a real, real positive impact on the career though, with all that work going in, you know, it paid off a little bit, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Ja- it, 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 really, really. And John, my, my only story I'll, I'll talk about my son, who's a little bit older than, than Seamus and Rutger. Uh, his name is Gordon. Everybody thinks because I'm in the hockey business and I'm from Detroit, uh, Gordon was named after Gordy Howe. That's not true. Uh, he was named after Gordon Lightfoot. And, uh, he is a musician of, of some kind, but that's, that's the one Father's Day story I'll, I'll pass on. But continuing with the Father's Day uh, theme, I got to ask Rutger. Rutger, your dad is working for Muskegon. You're now with the NTDP. It could very well be Muskegon and the NTDP is going to play six, eight, ten, maybe 12 games against one another. What's that family dynamic going to be like? Is it going to uh, be fun? Is it going to be, what's it going to be like? It's, uh, it, yeah, the chirps have started already. It's, uh, it's, it's a fun atmosphere in the house. Uh, I remember during the draft, like, I was chirping them a little bit, like, oh, is that draft pick good enough to pick and uh, to be NTDP? Like, just kind of, like, little uh, shots at him. He's throwing a few shots at me. Uh, I, like, I, like, when I'm skating, like, I'll shoot. I'll be like, oh, like, will your goalie be able to stop that next year? Like, just, like, messing around, just, like, little jokes. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to the – after the game, like, like ho- when we beat them, uh, just chirping them after the game. I, I'm really looking forward to that. That's perfect. Now, Seamus, I, I'm going to do a little Craig Ferguson uh, imitation for you. I, I was watching some of your YouTube clips, and one of the headlines said, Seamus Casey is the number one defensive prospect in the planet. Now, I know you're pretty talented, but I also know that you're coming into a brand-new team uh, and you kind of have to earn your spot, don't you, uh, coming to the NTDP uh, in a real short period of time, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a, a cool video, or it's cool to have someone say that about you, but um, I think Rutt can uh, definitely attest that, like, you, you get to NTDP, like, you just check your ego at the door. Like, we're all brand new. No one really cares what you did. Um, you really just have to earn your spot and respect from your teammates and coaches, like, there's so many guys playing the NHL before that come through here. So really no one cares and it doesn't matter. It's just really about what you will do when you get there. That's a great, I'll, go ahead, go ahead, John. I got to wait for that, but go ahead. A little shout out to our, one of our assistant coaches, Mike Leone, uh, works with the other group uh, than what you guys will be working with, but you'll, you'll get to know Leo. Nobody cares work harder, right? That's always the mantra yeah. that he, he has going. He was doing a lot of running. I know. And he says, it doesn't matter how far you go, how fast you go. Nobody cares. Work harder. Yeah, I love that. One of the things uh, I, I found out, uh, you've already had Zoom conference calls with the coaching staff, and they brought in Joel Farabee to talk with you, uh, who's now with the Philadelphia Flyers. I thought he was an outstanding NTDP player, a real warrior, first-round pick of the Flyers. Looks like he's going to stick with them. What did he say to both of you, and, and what can you take away from that? Oh, you want to go? go uh, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, he kind of just uh, went on about it. Was, he went on like more than hockey. Like, of course, like the hockey stuff. He said how great that was, but he said like in the community, be like be good people at school, talk to people. Like, there was a time at lunch, like uh, he was sitting like by himself, like, and I think it would be pretty cool going into like a new school. Like, I'm going to Northville next year, so. Like, I kind of know a few people from there because I've lived here for the past six years. So he uh, he just said, like, get to know everyone because uh, it will make the whole experience a lot better. Seamus? Um, yeah, I think one thing, like, um, that I like about, like, what Joel was saying is just, like, it's, like, habits for him. Um, he's just, like, everything is habits, like, on and off the ice, like Rutt was saying, just being as good of a person as he possibly can. And, like, it translates onto the ice just doing the right thing all over the ice, off the ice, stuff like that. Like, that's just wise in the NHL. Again, a reset. This is the Sunday sit-in. We uh, talk with and uh, preview and promote the USA Hockey's National Team Development Program. Our guests are Seamus Casey and Rutger McGrorty. 
They are brand new members of the NTDP, their 2004 birthdays. I'm Pete Krupski alongside John Edwards. And, uh, glad you're along uh, for the ride. That uh, will be another uh, five to eight minutes with uh, these gentlemen. Now, I know you, you two have played against one another. Seamus, can you give me a scouting report about Rutger McGrorty? Uh, when he's barreling in on the, on the wing and you're trying to stop him, uh, what's it like going up against Rutger McGrorty? Well, I mean, usually I think out of all the guys, out of all the times we played each other, I probably usually get the upper hand in oh. terms of the total record. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really counting, but – Honestly, like, I usually just try and get under Rudd's skin. Maybe just chirp him a little bit. He'll shoot over the net, stuff like that. Get him in the corners. He doesn't like going in the corners. Um, <laughs> other than that, though, it's not too difficult. <laughs> now, Rutger, you put up some big-time numbers, uh, Sega numbers. I mean, 160 points in 63 games. What's it like going up against Seamus Casey? I mean, I, mean I, I, I saw the YouTube clips. He's a pretty mobile defenseman. What do you try to do to get around this guy? Uh, I would say, uh, the number one thing you got to do from Seamus is probably just take the puck away from him. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta get the puck first to, uh, get around him. So I would say, uh, I don't know. He's a tough guy. He's very, uh, he's a very mobile defenseman. He likes, he's very shifty. He can, uh, dangle through any, I remember the WSI goal in the, in the finals of Philadelphia. He toe dragged our top two defensemen, uh, and, just embarrass our goalie and then talks it. I'm just like, wow. Like I was like looking for late guys. And then I turned back around. He toe drags the one defenseman. I turned back around again to look at the, uh, my guy. And I look forward again. He toe drags our second defenseman. I look back again, <laughs> turn back around, dangles our goalie. And I'm just like, nothing you can do there. Like the, uh, uh, you the, two, the 2003 game. group has a has a nice uh, output yeah. of uh, offensive defensemen, so it seems like we'll uh, get a continuing theme going on with uh, Seamus yeah. and Co. here. Hey, John, we're going to have to uh, get the uh, video tape machine out for the uh, reduced ice games uh, against these guys. Uh, it should be a lot of fun watching them, huh? wouldn't you think? You're showing your age, Krupp. The tape, man. That's that's oh. back in the day. Yeah. What, what do we got? What do we got these days? It's all digital. We'll, we'll, okay. we'll get it. We'll get it going though. We'll we'll peek and uh, see the skill that these guys have. I like that short area stuff. Yeah, I do too. Hey guys, uh, open-ended question for both of you. What attracted you to the NCDP? Obviously, you have a ton of options. Obviously, you have talent. What attracted you to come to a USA Hockey Arena in Plymouth for the next couple of years? Shay, you can go. Well, I think like most of all, like obviously there's there's so many different things that they offer. Um, but I, I think um, something that the coaching staff made really, really clear to us is that every single day we'll be battling and competing against our teammates who are the other best players in the country. And we all want the same goal is to get better, get better and win everything that we can. And um, I just think that that is going to make us so much better. I'm really excited for that. Right. Uh, for me, I would say the main thing that attracted me was just like looking at all the guys that uh, passed through there, like all the best players, best players in the world. Uh, and looking like I remember practicing with them, I just saw like they train like professionals, just seeing how they work out, seeing their skate. Like I remember after the skate, uh, Kevin Ryder was like, yeah, like this wasn't like too hard of a skate. Like this was just like. I, I forgot what day it was, but he was like, yeah, this is just like our midweek skate. Like it wasn't like too difficult. And I'm like, that was, that might've been the hardest skate I've had in my life. Like that was like unbelievable. Like I want to get this every single day. And uh, just like how motivated all the guys were. Like, I just want, I just wanted to be a part of it. You talk about the staff there. And uh, one of the newest additions is uh, Brian Gallivan. You guys will be working with him uh, quite a bit and I, I was talking with Rod a little bit before we uh we hopped on Seamus have you gotten a chance to to talk with Galley and, and go through any of his workouts yet um well I haven't I haven't met him but he's been sending us all the workouts and we've been doing the zoom meetings um various things and like you can just like feel his enthusiasm through the through the screen so I'm pretty excited I think he's probably gonna bury us a bit um, <laughs> it's gonna be great though I'm definitely excited He's a he's a big personality for sure. Yeah. Right, you said you you've gone through a few of them. What can uh, what can you say about uh, any of the processes yeah. there with, with uh, the strength? Galley is unbelievable, and Will like on Will's unbelievable too. 
they just like they care about everything like their warm up like the warm ups like I'm dripping sweat after the warm up like it's everything about it it's like unreal and they like they make sure you put intent into everything like if we have a crappy warm up they'll be like like what was that like that like everything like needs to be done with intent like we need to like train like professionals like you start like, like you finish as uh, as strong as you start like the whole entire thing needs to be hard like it, I, I I've loved it so far well, John, I don't really have a whole lot more for these uh, gentlemen, but uh, part of uh, the NTDP experience is doing the interviews, and our games will be on television. And and, and if you've watched our games, you, you know what that's all about. But, uh, uh, John, anything else you have for these uh, these two gentlemen? I'll get to uh, one more. I'll let you guys chirp each other a little bit here. Okay. She Seamus, University of Michigan commit. Yeah. Rucker, Notre Dame commit. Yeah. You got two years before you go there, but uh, – Tell me a little bit what went into the decision and uh, excited to play against each other before coming here, with each other here, and then against each other again when we're going out. Rucker, what went into to picking Notre Dame? Uh, it's unbelievable. The campus, the team, the coaching staff, like every single one of them could be in the NHL. Like they're top of the, top of the line coaches, how they train, their trainer, the like everything about Notre Dame. Like it feels like a family atmosphere. Like, I'm friends with uh, some of their players, uh, Matt Hellickson, Dylan St. Cyr, and, like, they have nothing bad to say about the campus, the coaches, everything. Like, they love every part of the campus, like, every part of the team. Like, they like they can't wait to get back at it with their team, and, uh, like, they just love it. Awesome, and it's a good job for you shouting out some NTDP alums there uh, yeah. Yeah. As, yeah. as well. Seamus, I know you, you play a little bit in Michigan, took the year back in Florida, Michigan commit. What is it like uh, to come back up here and have your two years in Plymouth before you head out to Ann Arbor? Um, well, obviously, like, one one thing that um, is nice is that I'll be – I've lived in Michigan, and then I'll be living in Michigan again, and then so it's just a really easy transition. Um, but I, I just um, – I think one of the big things for that made me decide on Michigan is just, like, the – I first time I met all the coaches – and they were just like the most enthusiastic, like like happy, um, down to earth coaches I've ever met, and like they know the game so well. And uh, I just think after my after my two years at NTDP, with a great coaching staff going there, it's just like like how could you not get better? Um, so yeah, I, that that's probably like the biggest part of my decision is just the coaching staff, and all of their facilities are just top notch. Like it means Michigan. So. <laughs> Hard to beat that. Can't wait. Yeah. Hey, Seamus, Seamus, you remember the fight song or what? <laughs> I know the fight song. I mean, I'm Irish, so of course I know the fight song. But, I mean, I, when we're playing you, we won't be hearing it too much. Ooh. Hey, John, anything else for these guys? Uh, if, if not, why don't you tell us uh, what's going on uh, on the NTDP social media platforms, besides the fact this broadcast is going to be put out there real soon. We'll get them, uh, you know, weekly crap. We've been uh, yeah. we've been going with the, with the Sundays, and they've been growing. As we appreciate everyone that's watching it and support. Um, a lot of stuff uh, going across all of our platforms at the arena at NTDP. Um, you know, got a little shout out to the the Passage Off family, Jack Hughes, with the Father's Day post today. So we're just uh, trying to stay active, stay up to date, and and keep everyone entailed on the national team development program. And uh, Hopefully we, we can be playing hockey here sooner than later. Perfect. Yeah. And then uh, if you're interested, uh, my Twitter account is a little bit independent from the NTDP, but we keep it hockey related. We keep it intelligent and uh, it seems to grow. Um, so check me out if you want, at least in terms of Twitter. We really appreciate it. Our guests on the Sunday sit-in have been Seamus Casey, a young man from Florida and uh, uh, Rutger McGrorty, uh, who was born in Lincoln, Nebraska, now uh, in Northville, both uh, brand new members of the 2004 uh, date of birth NTDP uh, U17 team. We look forward to seeing them real, uh, real, real soon. Uh, again, we thank John Edwards for his great work. He is the number one star in setting these up. And most of all, we thank all of you out there for watching. My name is Pete Krupski. Again, as USA Hockey likes to say, hockey is back. We're getting back uh, slowly but surely at USA Hockey Arena. We'll talk to you next Sunday on another Sunday sit-in. Until then, thanks for tuning in, and uh, thank you so much. We, we really do appreciate it.